Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers on the Radio Man 03. You can bet it is fantastic and awesome to have you along. We are getting started on the tannery today. I've got a little bit of work done already. Uh, just kind of getting, uh, you know, another one of those oddball shapes going with lots of timbers and cross beams and this and that going on across the place. And so we're going to get started on the tannery today. And we're hopefully going to get a tanning rack put up. Uh, one that Medieval Engineers brought in with the last update. It's, it's, it's a big piece, but uh, I'm looking forward to putting it up and seeing. Now, my first thought about a tannery is that it's probably kind of a messy job. So we're going to need some outdoor workstations, places where they can work outside because stuff's going to be dripping off. And I don't know that we're going to want people working here in what would be a mess, but we could put something out there for them to work on. So basically what we have here... As we come inside, this is how far we got the last time we were working on this side of the build. We come in the door, we're going to make a right, go upstairs, and now we're inside, I guess, the tannery shop where you put the sales stuff up and everything else like that, okay? So that's going to go in here, and uh, I think I might leave this stone right here. We'll see what happens, but I'm thinking I'm going to leave the stone the way it is. We'll just see, we'll see how things play out. That needs to go up a little bit right there. But I like this room the way it's starting to look right now. It's it's very odd, that's for sure. Uh, but we do need to seal this up. So I thought I'd bring you in before I got too far along and uh, made sure you guys could see what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Like that. And like that. Because we're going to run a patio off the, the uh, like an entire work area, hopefully outside here. Uh, we did bump into the tower. It's right here. It's right there. I mean, it's so close to us, it's unbelievable. So now we're going to come across this way. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing pretty darn good today. It is a Wednesday, of course. Wednesday episode of Medieval Engineers. Uh, wow, okay. So that's going to be... It's going to be like that. It's going to be tough, you know, because we're, we're, we're some tight quarters here. So it's going to be tough to save some of the stone that's in here. But we'll fix this up. We could fix it up. There's no worries about that. We could definitely fix it up. So let's go and get uh, G. Let's grab our flooring. And I want to get this kind of going all the way along here. So we've got this iron out already. So let's see. Our flooring is going that direction there. So Z. We're going to keep going this direction like so. Out to here. This is all perched on the side of the spire out here. Boom. Just like that. Beautiful. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do flooring here, too. We have to. I want this here. And I want that there. We'll come back and fill in all these spots when we can with what we can fill them in with. Now, this is going to be kind of tricky here. So what I think I'm going to do here is I want to try something out. I want to see if I can get this to jut out a little bit. No, I want you up here. There we go. There we go. Like that. Ooh, that's not too bad at all. That's going to put me up a little bit higher. Hmm. How am I going to get to that now? No, I want you in there. Z. There, like that. Just like that. Okay. Um, how am I going to get myself up to there? Hmm, this part here can't jut out any farther. It's out as far as you can go, this piece right here. But this can go across up here. Like so. That can go out. And we need to shore some of this up down here too. There's a piece that's kind of dangling off the edge over here. So we need to work on that as well. Um, what is going to be the best route to get up there? Hmm. Well, let's come back to it. It's not jumping at me, so let's, let's let's knock a little more stone out of here. Make sure we've got plenty of headroom to get through here. Uh, like so. There we go. And let's knock that out of there. There we go. Just like that. So I thought right here would be a good place for like the tanning station. Right up here. So that when you're working on stuff, if it falls over the edge, it's just dropping down, down to the ground. So it wouldn't really make that big of a deal. No big deal. But I thought living quarters might not be bad up on this level right here. But I'm trying to think to myself right now, how do I get up there? Here's the tanning rack. What do I need for that anyways? Oh, I only need that that kind of stuff right there. Oh, that's easy peasy. Can I make one of those? Can I put one of these down just to see 
Do I have the metal parts in my inventory? I do. Oh, awesome. Uh, I can't seem to spin that. It's not spinning at all. No matter where I place it. So it's going to take up a whole block. I was curious about that. If I put that down, what does it look like right here? See, the hide goes on the back, I think. Okay, so that's gonna... It, it definitely takes up a whole block, so we know that for sure now. I was curious about that, because we haven't had one of those since we first started. <sighs> I still need to get up here. Give me my wood stairs. And back up a little bit. What about right here? These stairs are interesting. You notice how it doesn't give me the white marker showing that it's it's a legitimate place to place that? I thought that was kind of interesting how it doesn't do that. We had that last episode too, where it's just a little bit finicky about where you're placing it. Don't worry, don't worry, we're okay. We're good. We're good, now we're gonna go with the number eight. Right here. That should fuse that angle block in real nice. Let's come out here. Oh, certain death for sure. Certain death for sure. <clears throat> is that going the right way? It is, okay, beautiful. We're gonna do the one of those right there. And I'm pretty sure we can get one over there too. Oh, I'm out of timber, dang it. All right, let me go get some timber, and I'll come back, and we'll resume right from there. I won't build anything else. I'll make sure I have you guys with me. It looks like the sun is getting ready to go down, because last episode we were decorating the uh, the scroll in the book, the, the library. That's not going to be the way out. That's just a, a way to fall off the building here. How are we doing, though, outside? Yeah, we're up there a ways now. That's nice. I may even go another layer. I may try to make it so that we've got a couple of tanning racks sitting outside up here. And then we'll do another area up above a little bit higher that's going to be the living quarters just to give these two buildings a little more uniqueness to them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at that one right there. We can put a tanning rack on that one there. We'll put a tanning rack on this one that's dangling out over the edge with a rail around it. And then uh, we're going to put another floor up there. So I'm going to run downstairs, stock up on some timber. I think I've got to saw up some logs as well. I thought I was going to have enough in my inventory to make it, but it doesn't look like it is. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, I think I've got what I need to go ahead and continue this on. I think maybe it might be wise to put the flooring on here. There's only been a time or two, but I have slipped through these cracks and died. So I don't want to do that. Let's do that right there. And then we were finishing this guy up over here, right? There we go. We're just about out of supplies. Just about. I have a couple of logs left down there. The rest of it has all been turned into timber and everything else we need for the project. So yeah, we're, 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 we're short on stuff, but I'm hoping we can get through the majority of this build before I have to go out and restock everything. Oh boy, where are we, where are we coming out over here? We're coming out over here at something. Uh, I think I don't want to go any further back with this. I think what I want to do is put a piece of flooring right here. I feel like this is pretty good. Uh, number two, we've got some nasty looking wall right there. How'd that do? How'd that do? Did that do it alright? Yeah, we've got a little bit of smudgy stuff going on here and there, but it's, it's pretty minimal. Okay, now what I want to do next is I definitely want to get my tanneries set up to where I'm, I'm going to have them. Uh, yeah, I feel like the hooks are supposed to be out front. Okay, let's hit Z. Okay, that time we got the hooks out front here now. That's good. That's very good. Okay, now can I hang... Can I actually hang a hide on here? I don't think I can. Um, let's go Alt-click. T 
tanned leather. Let's craft it. See what happens. Does it hang on here? It does. Excellent. That's what I want. I want it to look like that. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we've got one here. Now, my question is on this one here. Am I able to put this rail around it? Balcony walls, no the railings. Am I able to put this around here? With that sitting there? No, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um... Hmm. Okay, so that that's that's fine. I understand why it's it's taking up the block. But what about what about a timber rail? Is there any way to do a timber rail around here? Ooh. Possibly. Okay, we got one there. Can I get one over here too? Oh, yes. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so awesome. I could do that, and then I th I'm not sure how far I want this rail to go back. Probably probably close to what would be the staircase here, because we don't want to fall off. Okay, so let's do that there, and let's do one here. And can I get by with doing... I would love to do a full timber rail along here, because it looks, you know, it looks like pretty heavy stuff, you know? Yeah, like that. Uh, 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 oh boy. Certain death. Like that right there. Okay, so now that, that's got that pretty well protected. Now we'll figure out what we're going to do here when we get here. But at the, in, in the meantime, we have that tanning rack set up. Now let me also get a torch put up here so you guys can see better. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to really be caught, you know, cognizant of the fact that it gets very dark and it's hard to see. So, uh, bear with me. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to do that kind of a rail all the way around here if we're going to put tanning racks up here also. So let's go number seven. Beautiful. Or two. Let's clear some of this out a little bit more. Don't want to take all of it out of here. Just to just just enough to where they have a workspace. Like I've got uh, I've got this guy right here in my inventory as well. So we could put a you know. <laughs> that looks kind of silly in front of that. Uh, yes, I like to sit way down low on the ground while I'm working up high. Um, yeah, that's not quite the right stool. I think we're going to have to use Wolfgar's other stool for that one, the little taller one. That's a footstool. But uh, that looks pretty cool up here. I think it's going to look really good. I think it's going to look good. Okay, so we've got this going for us here right now. Is this all out of the stone? It's not. Let's let's knock that back a little bit more. We'll come up with it a little bit too. Let's kind of let's kind of try to curve this out a little bit. There we go, and we got some ugly stone over here. There we go, beautiful. How are we looking down here? We've got a little play room, a little bit, a little bit of wiggle room right in here. Okay, there we go. Oh, one more. Oh, careful, careful, careful. All right, beautiful. All right, we're looking good there. All right, now the other thing, and I'm still not sure. So we've got we've got workstations now. We've got three tanning workstations. Matter of fact, let's get hides put on all these guys here. Let's do it. Let's go Alt. Alt and click. We'll craft one of those. Uh, F. And then Alt and click again. Gets us one. And craft. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Alright. Awesome. So we're going to need some lighting up here. So let's do... Can I do a full timber? Will you let me do a full timber right here? There we go, number three. Light to work by. There we are. All right, beautiful. I feel like I feel like this tanning area, the, the, the tanning business is going to be kind of an outdoor type thing. I think I mentioned that right when we first started. I feel like it needs to be kind of an outdoor business mostly. Uh, let's get that thing out before somebody hits their head on it. Gets their head wide open with that sharp pointy rock. Okay, so now what we need to do here, we don't really need to worry about a, a, a safety rail over on that side, but we do on this side. Let's go down to a four. And can I reach that? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we're going to come right over to here. 
And I think I probably can reach this over here. Like that, right there. Right there. Bam! Just like that. I might have to take one of these down to put the rail out front, or I can work my way up from down below and uh, put the rail on them there. Okay, so now we've got the workstations going on out here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get up to what would be the living quarters. That's the tricky piece. We've got some small spaces here that we're working with. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get up there to, to, con to deal with a living space. <clears throat> well, I guess what we could do, possibly do, is we could go in this way. We could go in from up here. You get done with work, you check in on everything you worked on, you've gone past that workstation, this one and this one. You see the water in here? I feel like it would slosh around a little bit. I know I wanted it out here, but it's just not working out that way. So look out below. You might get a little bit wet. You might get a little bit wet. Uh, let's let's take care of something else since we're right here and I'm looking at it. Um, there we go. There we go. Some rails. Beautiful. How am I going to get up to the next level? The next level. It's tough deciding this. Part of me wants to put another staircase right here. But I don't know that that's the, that's the right choice of things to do. I'm going to need the door, and I'm going to need possibly that window right there, too. Let me give this some thought. Let me come up with an idea, and then I'll come back. I think I've figured out a solution to our living quarter issue. Hmm. Try to see if I can get a roof over the top of this right here. Maybe if I hammer this one in. I may have to take these guys down. Nope, oh, there we go. Like that right there. Kind of an overhang for it, you know? So they, so they've got some place to work underneath if it's raining out. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Can I can I reach that from here? It's, it's getting tricky up here. It's getting real tricky up here. There we go. Whoa. Oh, so it was saving. Okay. Oh, it's not really attached, though, is it? Um, I bet I can get another piece of this to go up and extend that over. If I hit Z. Oh, that's the right spot right there. Uh, let's go back to our inventory. Let's see if we can get one of these ladders. Maybe, just maybe, I can get myself up there to, to look and see. I mean, if anything else, we just take these guys down. It won't be no big deal, but uh, I'm just kind of hoping I can see up there. Ah, it's, it's showing me they're all put together. Um, I've got it up there, though, so that's good, because that's going to make it go right into the wall, and that's what I want. As long as it looks like it's supported, that's good. And then, um, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to just take these down. I'm going to take these down, and we'll rebuild them. Uh, we've got a few more hides left. Let's take that. Oop, maybe in front of it. Take that. There we go. Let's take these out for now, and then we'll... <sighs> swapped out my hammer for that. I have that happen every now and again where things get swapped out of my inventory. Oh, that's right. My inventory is super full. Um, do I have I have a workbench. Ah, I forgot about that. Living quarters are going to be up in here. Right up here. Just a small little place. Four squares. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, do I have what I need to make just a small chest to uh, put a few things in? I can't put any stone in there. All I need is a couple of spaces. Do 
There we go. So I can throw those in there. I can throw that in there. Can I? Yep. Then I can throw that in there. That in there. We actually need these. And we'll throw that in there. There we go. That should give me a little bit more space so I can grab this stuff. <clears throat> Beautiful. Alright, there we go. Alright, now can I reach that piece of roofing? No. Okay, so I need number nine. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> now, what I want to know is can I take this and extend it all the way up and get it to attach to that roof so it looks like it's got an overhang and a bit of a support on it? Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. That's what I wanted to do. It doesn't look like it's quite touching it, though, does it? Let's go number nine. Let's get this back up again. Let's get up here, and let's go number eight. There we go. It's not touching. Okay, I thought so. Like that, right there. Just a smidge up there like that. Okay, and I think what we could probably do is extend this one up as well. And uh, no, that's not going to look good. But can we come more somewhere in the middle here? And oh my god, I almost went over the edge. Oh my, oh jeez. Uh, can I start from up here? Let's see. I can't. Uh, not really. No, that's not going to be very good. Maybe if I come down... Like that. I can't see what it's doing up above. It's just... If it looks like it's too long. Eight's too short. So I'm going to say the 9 was probably good. We'll try that one out next. And nope. Maybe full timber was good. Okay. I thought it was going to be going right through the roof. And there, I'm sure there's a piece of it showing through the roof, but I think that's good. Okay, so then after that, uh, we're right here. I don't think I need a second one here because it's in the stone far enough. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. Do that right there. So one, two, three. One, two. Like that. I should have been down one, huh? Down one. And then we've got to see if that tannery will fit here. That tanning rack will fit. And we will, now that we've got those out of here, let's do this here and let's get these guys established as well. that and sure why not we'll go all the way with that one and then we need one up here like so there we go probably should have one in the middle here too huh so hard to, to judge this when you're looking at it. I don't think that's going to be in the middle because there is no middle with this. Yeah, we're kind of dealing with even numbers, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do that again. We'll go up on a 9 with a 9 on that one and we'll switch the other one out. And we'll just do a double thing here because we have to have one on each side in order to make this work right. So that was a 9 I said. Like so. There we go. Now, let's see if these tanning racks will fit here. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, fantastic. And the hooks are hopefully on our side, I think. There we go. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. It worked. All right, awesome. And then we need... Uh, our. Do we, I think we put our torch away, didn't we? 
We did. We put the torch away. All right, that worked out though. That worked out really well. Um, let's take that and let's take these. Can I put? I wonder if I could put these back on the rack. Can I put these back on here? That would be great if I could. I mean, I've got other stuff we can do. So other other ones. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, great. So it's like even even available for display purposes. I've got this. All right, awesome. And then number three. Uh, we'll we'll put actually put the torch over here. Come here now. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. 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 All right. The tannery. Huh? Yeah. A little roof over the top. That worked out pretty great, huh? That's that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's going to give the entrance and the in the the front of the building is what I was kind of concerned about because it wasn't getting much interest. I mean, we've got some interest going on here because it juts out really oddly, and we've got this little balcony down here, but we didn't have any real shape going on up here other than having those tan racks on there. But now that we've got some roofing up there, uh, an overhang like that, that is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the corner here. Let me get my hammer back out, and we've got a door here. We've got a wall here. Uh, yep, close up. There we go. Uh, a little bit of a wall there. Let's go number five. We're not even going to bother opening this. Well, you know what? Gosh, can I do that? Can, what, what's, what's over on the other side of this wall right here? This stone. Can I do that? Uh, it's going to be under the. It's going to be underneath this roof, and it's just going to unsecure that roof. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave this stone the way it is right through here. I really like how rugged this side is starting to turn out, and I'm thinking about leaving all this stone in here too. Come on, close the door. There we go. Let's just do a little bit like that right there. And then let's add a number five right in here. This guy doesn't have any windows. There's only so far I can go back on this side of the room because that's where our tunnel is that leads out to this entire business district. So we don't want to do anything back in there. Like that. Number five. And we're going to just finish this up here. Nice. Now we do need to take this up a little bit. We can't have this this low. It's just, it just doesn't make much sense to have the stone down this far. Here we go. There we go. A little bit right here. And we'll take out this little piece in the middle. A little bit of that. A little bit of that right there. And I think we're good. I mean, I could go up. I could go up there and just, just going to clean this up. Uh, Z. Nope. Z back. I think I need to be up here. I could do this right here. I could actually probably do that with timber and it would look just as good, huh? Uh, but we're good. We're good in here. I think we're good in here. So do I have any more torches on me? Can I make any more torches? Do I have any metal parts? I think we might have used them all for the tanning racks out there. Yeah, it looks like I did. So I don't have any of those. And I need metal parts for this guy too. Yeah, and that guy. Oh, you know what? This is... This dropped in price. This used to be t two metal pieces and sticks. And this used to be just one metal piece. That's why I would make these more often. But this price dropped on those guys right there. I never even noticed that before. I need metal parts for that too. So we don't have any metal parts on us, but we can we can remedy that eventually. Do I have any in here? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Problem solved. Uh, some sticks. Those metal parts. And I like the little torches. I'm going to do a couple of those. There we go. Number three. And we'll put his torch... Uh, actually, you know, eventually what we'll do is we'll probably have a table and a candle in here. We'll put a bed in here, a bed, a wardrobe, maybe a shelf or two, and uh, a little table and stuff. But these are the living... This is this is where the owner of the tannery lives. This is just his simple, simple living quarters. Uh, uh, yeah, that's okay. I could take those. Uh, indeed. This feels a little bit low to me. 
just a little bit though. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so let's go G. Let's try to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take us back through, and we're gonna try to do some touch-up stuff here and there throughout the place. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's do that next. I had to make some changes downstairs. I did. It was, it was inevitable. I'll take you down there and show them to you. Uh, uh, Z. Come on now. Won't let me put a rail on here. Man. Okay, maybe maybe some other time. Maybe it'll let me do it later. Okay, so we've got our rail here. We've got rails down here. I put this guy up over here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this guy out. I wonder if I should leave this here or if I should change this to the wood. Let me know what you guys think. This could be adjusted here so it lines up a little bit better. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. It needs to go down. Kind of hard to tell where it needs to go. Well, here, I can just do this. And I can take some timbers. We can adjust this right here while we're looking at it. It's going to be a number four. That's what we love to, I love to use anyways. Uh, y. Like that. Ah, okay, so now I have to take this out. We have to get a little bit further out here. <laughs> get a little bit further out there. Uh, come on now. Oh, there it is. Let me have it. Beautiful. There we go. Perfect. We're, we're, we got some tricky stuff going on on this build for sure. Because we've, we've got some tight spaces in here. But I think this is going to be good practice for when we get busy on the kind of the city buildings. The town buildings. Okay, it's not quite up against this. But I'm, I'm okay with that. We're going to leave it like that right there. No one's going to fall through that little crack right there. Okay, so we've got our rails. We've got safety rails. We've got some some balcony covers right here, some railings here. Uh, back in here, in this little cubby here, I thought we'd put some barrels. We'd put a couple of barrels, maybe a chest or something like that, back in this little corner right here. That seemed like a good spot for just some outdoor storage. Now here, this looks a little unusual to me right here. So let's go G. Uh, let's get our wall back. Uh, our door. I th oh, we've got the door. Okay, let's, let's just get those two back right there. Number five. I'm going to put this guy up here. Yep. I'm almost out of clay, too. My clay is running a little bit low. And then we're going to go... Number six. There we go, like that. Uh, number five. Inside. There we go, just like that right there. Okay. Let's let's pull the roofing out just for the heck of it and see if there's anything interesting we can do with it. Just for fun. Well, yeah, why not? Why the heck would you not do that, right? A little piece of roof on here, and then let's go to G. And let's grab this guy right here. And we're going to put him right up here. Z. There it is, right there. Uh, I'm in the way. Just spin that around. Like that. A little bit of Eve action going on out here. Some Eves, okay. So we've got that going. That worked out great. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Okay, cool. That adds a little more interest out here, too. Whoa, careful. Uh, nothing here. This could be open. That's fine. So now we've got a nice little overhang here. We've got a place to store some stuff over here. We could put some vines and things in here and make it look really good. Uh, and then we're going to go in here. Now, let's see. This, I think I'm going to leave as is with the stone ceiling. And we're just going to leave it rugged. And we need to actually do a little bit of that. Just a little bit. 
Just a little bit of the... Uh, oh. There we go. There we go. And let's bring this side over. And let's bring this... Oop, I don't have the icon. There we go, like that. Okay, oh, what's this here? Okay, I had to put some roof up here because we have, whatchamacallit, showing. We have the, the supports for the outside patio showing here. So I think what I need to do here is, uh, back to G. Uh, we need to take this guy here. Come on. Oh, these are so finicky when you get this many blocks kind of going together because we've got... There it goes. So you got to take them out in order to put them in right. Uh, no, number seven. I had it right the first time. See, I've got these legs showing from above, so that's why I put flooring in here now. Oh, man. I tell you, it is, it is a tricky build right here. Is there any way I can get to that post from outside? It doesn't want to let me see... It doesn't let me see the flooring here. I've got to knock that back down again, and then I can hit the floor. Now, can I reach up here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, beautiful. Okay, got it. I got it. So I need to cover this up up here just because it looks stupid, I think, with flooring there and not over here. But we can leave this part of the area alone back in here, okay? But we have to cover that up for the sole fact that it just shows and it looks really strange. So we've got that going out there. Uh, number nine. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hang in there. Boom. I love this hammer. One hitting things. Man, after the last few seasons of just hammering and hammering and hammering, it's nice to be able to do it this way. Now, there's also, there is also, hold on a second. Let's, let's go back up to the living quarters really quick. There's something else I want to look at. Story Pass Productions, prior to Keen Software House coming out with their tanning rack, Story Pass Productions had a smaller version of a tanning rack. Of course, we're going to have to have deer heads and all that stuff up here. We've got to have that. A loom should probably be in here uh, for spinning cloth and things like that. But there was a smaller version of a tanning rack, if I'm not mistaken, by Story Pass Productions. Oh, boy. Those are his shutters uh, that slide back and forth instead of opening and closing outwards. Um, hmm. I doubt... Uh, I doubt it's under small blocks, right? It's not going to be under here. Where would I find that? Could it be in the, the the smithy, possibly? This guy here? The forge, I should say? Let me look one more time here real quick. It was a much smaller version. And then we've got to get a place for Wolfgar's botany crafting table. We've got to get an apothecary going. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look for it. But there was a smaller version of it that you could put... Uh, someplace else, and I thought maybe one of those might just be for the fun of it out on a balcony. So we've got these compounded blocks. Compounded blocks? <laughs> They're showing up red like that. It's kind of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot to say. Uh, you know what? I could... Well, let's move this to a different location. Because we're going to want to create a few things. And we can't have that sitting there. It's just not going to work there. Let's find a different place for the workbench. And then we'll be able to uh, utilize it. Can I make... Do I have metal parts on me? I have two on me. Let's throw some of those in there. Some of those in there. Uh, blanks. What can I make with that right there? Anything of interest? Ah, there we go. One barrel. So, yeah, my idea was is that we put our barrels tucked away underneath here like this. For storage. I thought that would be kind of cool. Then when you come by, you know, you've, you've got that going on. And then when you come back out, you've always got that on the side there. Something of interest there. And uh, what we do need to do here is take a timber and fix up this corner. Because it looks a little funny. Full 
timber. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. I can't do I can't do that. I was thinking about doing something here, but I don't think we need that. That's supposed that should support that roof, that that beam right there. That should do just fine. All right, look at that. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, so we come downstairs. I feel like this area is looking pretty good. Uh, maybe what we could do here is that. All right. Pete's sake. That's not going to be right anyways, but let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And let's go ahead and let's just trim the whole thing out. Let's trim it all out, all the way across here. I think it's just going to look like it belongs more if we do this. There we go, like that. Yeah, that, that trims that out pretty nice, huh? That looks like it belongs now. I like that idea. Um, what can we do back here to kind of hide that light coming through there? We could possibly... No, I don't want to... Like I said, I don't want to take any more stone out of here because we do have stuff right above here. So we're going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it alone. Nobody said their houses were airtight back then anyways, right? There's no way. Uh, we're looking good out here. I have a torch installed there as well. Um, what about right? Uh, you know what? This does not look quite right. Let's go. Okay, let's go five. Let's do this over here. Let's get this cleaned up. There we go. And maybe... I kind of like having the, the stone wall in the back of the shop. I know some of you guys are really fond of that too. So let's go ahead and leave that. But let's go ahead and trim this out. Like that. And then we're going to come up here. Like that right there. And then let's do another one over here. Like so. I'm just not wanting to shove that too far up there. There we go. That looks better. That looks better. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, one of you taught me a really awesome thing, and I, I think I've, I've heard this before, but if I hit F8, I could go into a spectator mode, which is very cool. And we could fly around. And then if you hit F6, it takes you back to your character. But let's uh, let's get a nice little shot of the whole place. You can see it's coming along. Oh, we got that compound block up there being a compound pain in the butt. Oh, it's so dark, huh? Hope you guys can see that all right. The tannery. It's a little different than the shop next door. I think it's more open air instead of being all enclosed because you're going to protect the scrolls, right? And the books and stuff like that. You're going to protect those things. We do have an insti inside storefront that we can design in the next episode. Get things all kind of situated in here. Get the, get the leather strips over here. Get the hides over here. Get all that stuff over here. So this is the tannery from now on. But look at the way it bent, blends in here. And let me back up a little bit further so you guys can kind of see how they both look together on the... Uh, the spire. I mean, you can see our house is just up there a little ways, but there it is. Hope you guys like it. If you do, hit that like button for me. Show your support for the series. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.